Hi, sir. Hello, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm good, thank you. Um, welcome back. <laughs> thank you. And um, that's what I gave you earlier on. So let me check. What did you get as N? As N, I got N, equal, N equals N minus 2. And what did you get as the first term? I got uh, T3 equals 17. T3 equals to 17. And what did you find thereafter? Uh, and then I found T4, which is 23. And what did you do thereafter? And then I say D equals T4 minus T3. That's equals to six. Thank you. Seems like you got it right. Yeah. D is six. And then you simply had SN as well. So this is what you were supposed to have done to, to simplify. Did you get that? Um. Yes. So where there's N, remember here you're supposed to have N. So where there's N, you substituted that N minus two, but from that N, you were supposed to subtract one. So that one, you can't multiply, you can't multiply by that negative one because you were supposed to subtract uh, one from N to get it. Yes. Even if you put it in brackets like this, you will still have N minus two. But this negative one is not multiplied. It's subtracted from the bracket. That is why. So now, when is it? So when is it that you multiply it in? It's when it's like this. Oh. Here it's not multiplied at all. Okay. Subtracted. That is why when you simplify it, you will simply have n minus two minus one. Yes. You got it? Yes. All right. Then you're gonna just simplify whatever is inside the brackets. When you simplify whatever is inside the brackets, this is what you will be left with. Are you fine with that? Do you understand how I got this 4,450? Yes. What did I do? Uh, you multiplied both sides with two in order to remove the denominator. Exactly, I just multiplied both sides by two and I got that. So that multiplied by two will give you 4,450. When you break this bracket, did you get that? Um, yes, that's what I got. And did you get this? Six squared, six N squared plus four N in the middle, you're supposed to have plus 4n. Do you have plus 4n? Yo, I have, I have negative 4n. I think um, that's where I went wrong. 16 minus 12 is 4n, is 4. Yeah. When you move minus- I think that's where I went wrong. And that is the only thing you got wrong, I think. And then I yeah. two, then enter this into my accounting equation. May I proceed? Yes. And this is what I got. Are we still cool? And when I, yeah, when I did it, isn't it? I made the mistake by writing. Uh, negative 4n and then now n was uh 27.6 which was incorrect on the other hand you had negative 27 which was also incorrect yeah whatever n is it must be a natural number yes may i proceed yes
what do you see on your screen? I see the sum we just did, the last part of it. And nothing else. Okay, now it, it changed. To geometric sequence. Yes. What do you think it is? What geometric sequence? Yes. I'm not sure. A geometric sequence or a geometric progression can be identified by a common ratio. Remember, okay. an arithmetic sequence can be identified by a common difference, a common first difference. When it comes to geometric sequence, it can be only identified by a common ratio. To find the value of the term, I its predecessor by a common ratio. So basically to find the value of the next term, you just have to multiply it by the common ratio. And what is a ratio? A ratio is a fraction. And the ratio will always be equal to the value of the, of the term divided by the value of the previous term, which is its predecessor. So you cut in. Um, sorry, can I restart please? Do you mind coming back? Yes. Fine. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> 